Congress today passed a landmark Social Security reform bill they estimate could save the troubled program billions by encouraging Americans to live faster and die younger. The so-called grab life by the balls bill includes provisions to cut the cost of cigarettes in half, outlaws helmets, and adjusts the CDC's recommended amount of sleep from eight hours a night to when you're dead. The most effective way to stem our out of control Social Security budget is for all Americans to go out early in a blaze of glory. The bill's long-term initiatives, like repealing all gun laws and replacing train crossing warnings with signs encouraging motorists to speed up, are expected to save Americans millions annually by gradually reducing their average lifespan by 15 to 20 years. The bill's short-term initiatives aim to immediately cut current Social Security costs in half by replacing senior citizens' monthly checks with vouchers for grain alcohol, back alley tattoos, and extreme sports. I, I got this coupon to motocross over a canyon. I guess I better do my part to help the deficit. But some critics are not convinced the bill will be enough to save the program from bankruptcy. We need a much more aggressive policy here, like my proposal to require all commercial airlines to do a barrel roll hmm. while coming in for a landing. Are you kidding me? We need to privatize. The government has no right telling me who to raw dog and what to explode. Supporters in Congress say the cost will be offset by the so-called pussy tax on products such as sweaters, vegetables, hand soap, and flu shots. America, would you rather die old broke and forgotten, or die a motherfucking legend. The new program follows in the footsteps of the Life is a Cartoon Medicare campaign, which encourages seniors to run full speed off of cliffs and smoke sticks of dynamite. Moving on, KFC has unveiled a new line of boneless employees. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow morning, the shocking conclusion to today now's dolphin wedding. It's slippery. <laughs> Woo! 